it is our last session of the day, but certainly not the least. Um, and I'm going to welcome in Farrokh, who is the managing director of one of the leading agencies in Bangladesh, uh, Asia Tech. Uh, big welcome to UK House. This is where we're going to, we've got a presentation in this one, and this is where we're gonna hope that tech works in our favor and that it all goes <laughs> without a hitch. <laughs> Hi, Aisling. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to start off with a little correction. I'd love to be the managing director, but I'm not. That's uh, Ferdos Hassan Neville. He'll yeah. be taking over after the presentation. Um, I work with him. Um, I oversee planning. And uh, as you said, we're going to go and kind of see if this works. And uh, <laughs> I, I will stay here just in case. And apologies. I'm just reading right, my message. So there you go. Yes, all that's right. all so good. So I'm hoping everyone can see my screen. Yeah, that's all good. I'm going to hand over to you now. All right. Okay. So I'll quickly take you guys over. Uh, you've heard a lot of stuff about Bangladesh, the marketing structure that exists over here, the scope for advertising and all the great stuff that's happening. Um, we are one of the largest advertising agencies in Bangladesh. And we're going to quickly start off with telling you guys a little bit about us. And then um, the managing director, uh, uh, Neville, will take you through the rest of the discussion. So um, when we were talking about Asiatic Marketing Communications Limited, which is what we are, uh, our story, you see, it starts off with uh, one, ma one man's vision and eight people. And it started off uh, well over 50 years ago. And today it's come to the point where we are over a 220 person team. And our story itself is very closely linked to our history, Bangladesh's history, which as you've already heard is on the verge of celebrating its 50 years of independence. And as the nation gets ready to celebrate this 50 years, we at Asiatic are also celebrating uh, uh, 50 years, but our 50 years are filled with victories. And these are the victories that we've won for a variety of our partner clients, um, whether it be with um, Oh, Unilever and helping them win over audiences uh, to help make some of their brands such as Sunsilk and Lux household names across uh, Bangladesh or whether it's through working with the various PepsiCo brands that we have helped, uh, worked with for well over 40 years and helping 7up uh, uh, actually uh, change this market to one where uh, it is not the traditional leader Coke leading the market, but 7up is the leader in the soft drink market, or whether it even goes to the point of helping UNICEF in crafting some of the biggest uh, behavior change campaigns, uh, not just only in this region, but across the world. Or even if it is uh, uh, with uh, as a partner to HSBC, who are also going to be celebrating their 25th year of being in Bangladesh. Um, our approach has always been uh, to try and inhale inspiration and exhale innovation while, you know, always trying to explore the new perspectives with which uh, to tell stories. And we've tried to make sure that all of our stories are as participatory as possible, uh, trying to engage people from across the country, from all walks of life, which is why uh, even today um, we stand not just as custodian to a whole range of brands from across the world, um, but also uh, we're seen as a full fledged marketing agency um, and we tend to provide um, uh, for clients through uh, behavior change, digital or be it just uh, brand campaigns. And what we try to do all along uh, through these services that we provide is um, try to help them solve this problem. As many of the people have been saying before me is that uh, over the last few years in this region, we've been seeing that conventional marketing practices have uh, largely become uh, inadequate and uh, consumer behaviors in Bangladesh have been, uh, for want of a better term, rapidly mutating, almost to a point where all the established communication channels have uh, gone to the point of becoming almost irrelevant. So uh, at Asiatic, what we've been trying to do all along is try and help our clients uh, ensure a proper brand experience for their audiences in this uh, ever-changing, ever-mutating uh, marketing ecosystem. So um, we're home to one of the biggest strategic planning and creative teams in this industry. And therefore we constantly try and uh, push ourselves to provide more and more innovative solutions uh, to help build sustainable brands, such as um, I've put on uh, Lux over here because it's one of the stories that we're very proud of. Uh, uh, in the last 50 years, we've partnered up with Unilever and we've helped them brand We've helped them build most of their brands in Bangladesh um, uh, till a period of time when due to global networks and everything, a lot of brands shifted out from our system. But Lux is one of those brands that we're very proud of building 
to where it's one of the leading beauty brands uh, in the country today. Um, we also provide services which involve uh, behavior change communication. And we have partnered, as I said, not just with the UN organizations in Bangladesh, but also abroad. Um, till date, we are uh, probably the only Bangladeshi agency that's worked with uh, uh, international UNICEF, specifically uh, UNICEF in Afghanistan, to help drive their first two ever uh, behavior change campaigns in uh, that country. One was regarding iodized salt, the other one was about dealing with maternal mortality. Um, but going on, we also try and have specialists who work with uh, uh, our clients on uh, trying to help them through the digital transformation process. Because um, as I've mentioned earlier, as this uh, traditional marketing becomes more and more complicated, uh, you're looking to use technology and data uh, which uh, are crucial to our existence and uh, in helping us help our clients. And so unlike uh, traditional digital marketing companies, uh, we try to focus on creating a holistic experience, which includes creating great web experiences, analyzing the performance with an end goal in mind. Uh, we've got within our team developers, consultants, product, uh, product managers, UI designers, um, what they try to do is they try to create this entire digital ecosystem uh, through which our clients can grow and thrive. Uh, once again, uh, an example I'd like to throw in here is Skito, which is one of the, uh, it's a sub-brand of Grameen Phone, a Telenor uh, company. Uh, it's one of the largest telcos and Skito is the, um, is the only uh, brand which exists primarily and only in the digital space. So we uh, are constantly helping uh, Skito try and engage better in their digital landscape with their uh, digital native uh, uh, audiences and users. Um, so moving on, um, you know, uh, there's always this talk about marketing and how research insights and analytics are core to marketing. And most organizations, they tend to sit on a mound of valuable data, just like everywhere else in the world, same here in Bangladesh. And the challenge is always of how do you get insights from that data? How do you get those strategies and those tactics that uh, can answer those questions of, uh, are you getting lost in a sea of brands? Are you getting lost in a sea of information? And so uh, we try to have experts in the field of research and analytics, which help our brands. Uh, for example, recently we worked with Parachute Advanced, which is a hair oil, and uh, they wanted to do a brand lift study uh, to find out how effective they were through their Facebook campaigns. And uh, we worked with them to uh, create uh, campaigns um, which actually helped them break all existing records for uh, Bangladesh in terms of ad recall and message uh, association. So um, once again, it's an example of how I, we try to provide services that go beyond the needs of traditional advertising. Um, but we do have uh, we do have uh, teams that work with uh, our client partners in campaign planning, uh, content strategy, and execution. For example, with Food Panda this year, uh, we actually put together their Valentine's Day campaign, and it was it was the whole gamut of uh, solutions, starting from planning out the con uh, content, uh, the campaign, um, creating the content, and then actually. Uh, executing on that. Um, moving on, obviously, media planning and buying is a big part. And uh, our teams here have certification from obviously Google, Facebook, LinkedIn. And uh, over the years, we've uh, generated experience not just in media buying, but also in planning and custom reporting uh, for our partners. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, in Bangladesh, we're one of the few uh, groups that have an exclusive partnership with Facebook, Google. Um, this actually helps us with clients such as Marico and one of their brands, Studio X, um, in planning out their campaigns. Uh, recently, uh, for Studio X, uh, we ran a campaign which recorded this massive spike of online purchase uh, through its Facebook campaign that we ran out. And it actually saw the brand uh, get the uh, highest ever return on ad spend um, through that campaign. Um, community management is obviously another factor. And uh, in this world of Bangladesh, where uh, interestingly enough, we are the largest uh, Facebook community. Apparently, Dhaka has the largest number of Facebook users in Bangladesh. And uh, in this Facebook field environment, um, you find that time frames are shortening to a point where uh, if you have a campaign, you need to respond to it within a few hours. So it's very important for brands to have a constant online presence. And uh, uh, how we try to help them through that is uh, by having a 24-7 dedicated CRM team. Uh, currently, our team handles over 49 major brands, including Nestle, uh, Suzuki, a uh, couple of banks, and uh, Singer. And as I said, a whole list of uh, 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 
people handling those brands and trying to uh, give uh, specialized solutions, which include obviously uh, replying to customers on their queries, um, trying to convert, uh, which is very important, trying to convert uh, leads into sales for the brands. And of course, sentiment tracking, trying to find out how people are actually engaging and interacting with the brands online. Um, an interesting example of how we do this is uh, uh, recently we ran a campaign for Nestle based on something, uh, the input which came in from our CRM team. They were talking about this fabulous little red mug that Nescafe, uh, a Nestle brand is really uh, famous for, and people were asking about it. So we actually suggested a CP, they ran that CP and was massively su successful. So just once again, small examples of how we try to add value to our clients. Um, we also have audiovisual production experts within our team, uh, obviously because of the uh, recent pandemic and its after effects, uh, on-ground content production is one of the big challenges that uh, teams have been dealing with. And uh, we're very proud of the team that we have because even during uh, COVID, right in the middle of the pandemic, when uh, brands and uh, content partners uh, wanted to run uh, COVID-19 awareness campaigns, uh, we were able to help them. And in fact, we helped BRAC, which is the largest NGO in the world, uh, come up with their COVID-19 campaign. And it was very successful in terms of spreading awareness uh, within Bangladeshi audiences about COVID-19. So uh, these are just a few examples of how we have actually managed to add value to the work of our clients. But um, I'd like to share just three more examples of cases where we have contributed um, to uh, clients or our partners getting greater success. Um, this is quite an old story, but it's also something that we're very proud of. Um, this is There was this time in Bangladesh when arsenic in the middle 80s, in the mid 80s, early 90s, um, arsenic was a major problem, arsenic contamination in the groundwater. And uh, there was a huge hue and cry of how do you go around and tell people that uh, there are proper practices, there are proper tube wells you can use, and there are dangerous tube wells that you cannot use for drinking water, but you can use it for washing dishes and other uh, activities. So uh, we came up with the strategy of painting tube wells red and green. And that uh, strategic framework was so popular that uh, the government actually adopted it and transferred it as part of their national uh, strategy for fighting uh, arsenic uh, uh, in Bangladesh. And that strategy itself was so popular and so successful that other governments and other nations that were facing a similar problem adapted it. So we're very proud of that uh, example. Um, um, there, there are members here from Unilever and they're one of our, uh, they're one of the partners that we've grown up with. And as I've mentioned, Lux is one of our uh, brands that we're very close to. And uh, uh, for, Lack, uh, for Lux in Bangladesh, one of our biggest achievements was actually creating probably the nation's first ever beauty pageant for the soap brand. And it is something which stands as a milestone uh, within the industry even today. Um, Sesame Street is something that is a global phenomena and we actually work with uh, Sesame Street uh, to bring across the Bangladesh's first ever and only version. It's called Sisimpur, and we're very proud of having partnered with Sesame Street and bringing that uh, program into Bangladesh to help with uh, children's development in this country. Um, at the core of everything that I'm telling you is uh, this vision that we have of creating a work culture, uh, which inspires us to uh, be curious, stay hungry, and of course, motivated. And it's all about uh, creating those extraordinary ideas that people would love to spend time with. And it's this value which has actually taken us to the point where we as an agency are seen as the pioneers in Bangladesh. Uh, you're going to see on your screen right now a whole bunch of firsts in terms of we were the agency that created the first TVC, the first reality show, um, the first digital content. And uh, we're very proud of this because this allows us to maintain that status as being a uh, pioneer in what definitely is an industry of mavericks. And we believe that, uh, th that we have a certain right as well as a responsibility and an obligation to keep on evolving as a company, as a group, uh, both in size and dimension. Uh, in order to provide those complete solutions uh, to the communication needs in Bangladesh's uh, changing media landscape. And uh, it, is this, uh, it is this belief which has led to the creation of the Asiatic 360 group that we are a part of. Um, the Asiatic 360 group is over 600 uh, people strong. And right now it is the largest, most comprehensive communication solutions provider in the country. Um, they serve up right up there from traditional communication needs to serving 
serving media needs to having specialist design studios. As I've mentioned, we have uh, the capacity to go, uh, take on audiovisual productions. We have a PR agency. We're in the broadcast business through Radio Shadhing. Um, as I've mentioned, that um, it's a group of uh, experts coming together. And of course, this expertise adds value to Asiatic MCL and being uh, the one-stop uh, hub to everyone's communication needs. So um, I'd just like to quickly end with some of the things that uh, we believe uh, have been uh, uh, have been substantial in getting us uh, congratulated for the work that we have done in the recent past. Uh, very quickly, I'll start off with talking about Airtel. Now, Airtel is in Bangladesh. There are four massive telcos. Uh, the telcos are obviously the biggest and most prolific marketeers possibly. And the fight within the telco giants is, uh, to say the least, absolutely throat. So Airtel started its journey in Bangladesh. It was launched by us in 2011. And uh, from that time on, it's been always the smallest player fighting off Grameen Phone and Roby, the two big massive giants. And uh, when we launched Airtel, the challenge was not just to build a youth-focused brand, but to actually differentiate uh, the brand by staying relevant for the youth despite the passage of time. And over the years, in the last 10 years, uh, Airtel has grown to become the biggest uh, youth brand for Bangladesh. And even though there was a short period in between where we didn't handle the brand, we moved on and they moved on to another agency. This year, we're very happy that they've come home to us. And uh, we continue to uh, join them as partners in uh, helping them become a more digital uh, uh, youth brand in terms of making sure that they're always thinking in terms of addressing the digital natives of Bangladesh. And um, we're very proud to be partners, as I said, in creating those opportunities for the brand to do so. Um, British American to uh, Tobacco is obviously uh, another one of our partners. And uh, it's, it's obviously a different ballgame altogether for a tobacco company in an extremely media dark uh, environment to try and grow. And we're very proud that uh, we, as their partners, handle all their, uh, uh, most of their, uh, we handle all their cigarette brands. And we've been very successful in, uh, despite the fact that we exist in a, a media dark environment, um, to try and get uh, people to come in and for adults to exercise their choice, uh, their right to choose uh, which smokes they want to buy. And uh, it's reflected in the fact that BAT uh, this year has just completed 110 years in Bangladesh. And just last year, they celebrated their largest revenue generating year within um, 110 years. And we're very proud to have been their partners uh, during such an epic milestone. And uh, just before I end, uh, I've been talking about the fact that we at Asiatic have been partnering up with development organizations, especially UNICEF, uh, working with them on local as well as global projects. But one of the projects that's very close to our hearts is the end child marriage. Um, as you've heard previously, that uh, people do have a, a a perception of Bangladesh being a poverty-stricken, pro uh, uh, problem-stricken country. And yes, that is true up to a certain point. Um, there was a statistic earlier that 52% of Bangladeshi girls were married off before they turned 18. So um, there are challenges to the progression and the development of this nation. And we've been partnering up with organizations such as UNICEF to try and build across better positive behaviors. And uh, uh, we... Uh, we have just recently come to the second phase. We finished off the second phase of this campaign, uh, which was about creating awareness and trying to stop uh, a child marriage in Bangladesh. Uh, till date, this specific campaign, which was all about raising the beat to end child marriage, uh, has actually come to the stage where it's won 17 awards, both locally and internationally. It's created tremendous conversation. And there have been cases where entire communities have started activating themselves to uh, build a community for themselves where younger, uh, younger uh, children are not uh, married off uh, before the legal age. So um, just a couple of examples, once again, of how we try to uh, differentiate from other agencies in this industry. Um, I'm going to stop the sharing and hand over to uh, Neville. So thanks everybody for your patient hearing. The reason Farouk was specifically talking about Asiatic is simple. So because we are particularly looking for uh, some partners, preferably from uh, one of the reputable 
UK companies. So I had this conversation with uh, the British Com High Commission guys uh, for quite over a few months. We used to just, I'll, I'll not take much time. This is uh, probably going to take just five minutes to wrap up. So we used to be part of uh, JWT, which is now called, uh, part of WPP, now called Wunderman Thompson. So uh, that relationship ended uh, prior to uh, COVID at some time in 2019. It went over uh, for quite, quite a long time, but because of the new uh, policies of WPP of uh, more consolidating than expanding. And there are some other complexities because it didn't own any stake. It was an affiliation arrangement. So we uh, sat together and uh, it kind of parted our ways. So now, uh, as everybody uh, said that Bangladesh, I don't want to uh, refocus on that so much. It is a country which is developing at a tremendous pace and advertising industry as a whole is no exception. So when it comes to us, uh, uh, particularly uh, what we are looking for is a partner who can help us, as you already understand, even though the industry is growing, the country is growing, there's some need gaps, even there are need gaps uh, for ourselves as well, like mostly uh, uh, technology and digital space. So a lot of times uh, we are not, we are, to be perfectly honest, we're at the first phase of the digital revolution. So we're doing the best we can, but at the same time, we do understand there are way a lot more that uh, we should be able to do for our clients. And as the trend is, it's not just uh, a campaign solution. So there are a lot of clients that are looking for end-to-end -end solutions from the development for even uh, concept. We recently worked with uh, one of our clients when they wanted to launch a new brand. So it took part from the very beginning of the research of what consumers want, what the market scenario is, and what could potentially work and what are the barriers. So based on that, so they developed two brands and they recently launched it. So we designed the whole brand architecture and everything. So starting from there to how we can actually within our group we also have uh, trade marketing solutions and distribution solutions that we try to cater to the uh, clients that we handle either creatively or through creative agencies or digital agencies or uh, media agencies we try to give them a holistic solution but when it comes to uh, the agency that i represent is the we call it the mother agency the first agency within the group which is a creative agency. Now we are creative and digital agency. So our need is to find a partner. Uh, so it could be uh, either in form of an affiliation at the beginning, and we are pretty open for uh, joint venture uh, if it suits uh, everybody. Uh, also what we can offer to a potential uh, partner is, uh, it's including but not limited, I'm just speaking from the top of my head is uh, a lot of times uh, because relatively uh, labor is still cheaper even in not just in uh, the garment manufacturing industry but also in creative industry so within our group we have this outsourcing agency uh, who does the basic graphic design solution for fashion brands in europe so one of the ways of us, because that's a different thing. So in, in advertising as well. So either digital uh, 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 adaptation or some development that we can be, that can be done, some basic coding that could be done. So all those things is something that we can do at a very competitive price, uh, which can help uh, to serve your clients across the globe. So we can partner there, which would be win-win for both. So there could be, uh, uh, there, there, there are a lot of, uh, I mean, like, I understand the big brands, the global brands that have central strategies and you cannot do much and you need to have a big team and you need to have a lot of resources, a lot of thoughts going into building a strategy and executing it. So. But there, there are uh, 
when it comes to execution. So there are a lot of uh, areas where we can, to begin with, of course, to begin with, we can help you guys give you that solution. And because of the digitization, the, this is a one world kind of a thing we live in now. So we can do it offshore. That is one. And most obviously, if you invest here, if you come as a partner here, so definitely you're going to get the dividend from whatever you do here as well. If we, there are a lot of Bangladeshi brands who are now going global. Uh, for example, there's this brand, local brand, very uh, one of the largest actually, Pran. So who have presence in, uh, for, not uh, for all their products, but quite a few of them in over 140 countries. So, and a lot of times they ask us, do you have any representation in those countries? So can we give you, but we actually help them to develop a lot of those brands. And it is easier for them to have one conglomerate who can handle it. So more like a network approach. So that is a possibility as well. So uh, basically we are looking for some potential partners. We're interested in this market. We're interested, but not in a generic sense, of course, we could be interested in marketing in many different ways. But when it comes to me, I think the specific uh, uh, requirement for us to find uh, an international partner who we can grow with. So, and of course, it will be a win-win situation. Uh, if anybody's interested, definitely we can take this conversation forward from here. So I think that's that's all from my side. Aisling. Thank you very much. Um, and um, just if anybody does want to contact you directly, I I can share email addresses. Absolutely. If that's okay with Absolutely. you. Yeah. Um, and we have we've got the presentation that deck that we've shared as well, and we'll share again after this. Um, okay. Apologies for the the mix up on who was speaking earlier. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> there was a last minute edition, so uh, yeah. I was, I was handing out promotions on your behalf to the team. So there you go. Um, we do. Uh, there's one comment coming. Yes, so um, there's uh, one of the UK AG companies has already expressed interest. So I'm going to link you guys up after sure, sure. this event and maybe there's something you can have a chat with there. Um, thank you very much for your time today. And thank you to all the speakers who have joined us. We are looking forward, as I've mentioned earlier, to hosting you all in person, hopefully on the Quasette at Cannes Lions. Uh, in 2022, where we can celebrate the successes of both our industries. Um, so without further ado, this is uh, UK House in Bangladesh um, is closed for 2021. Thank you very much for joining us.